श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षा परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरवे नम तस्म श्री गुरवे We are studying Tripura Rasya, entering the nineteenth chapter. Before we enter the nineteenth chapter, we have already forgotten what has happened in eighteen chapters. So let us try to get initiated into the thought process. So it was <coughs> indicated in the. First chapter, eighteenth uh, chapter, that tasmat uh, artha kriya bhasa matre na nahi satyata sarva meva hi vidyanam branti revanda samshaya apara iyam mahabranti eshu abrantat panishchaya ha yatha bade vidyanat purvam branti bhavit tatha. This is the dialogue between guru. Bhagwan Dattatreya and disciple is Bhargava Parashuram, and the story continues that because something is useful, something is accepted by everybody. That is not the criteria that it is real. Tasmat artha kriya abhasa matre na nahi satyata. Like we all see the blue color of the sky, majority, and for the poets also it is very good. But that doesn't mean it is real. In the same manner, sarva meva vidyanam bhranti reva na samshaya. So all that is experienced by us through the various faculties of knowledge, such as the sense organs, the mind, intellect. It is bhranti eva. It is only an illusion. See, now how it is an illusion? I'll give one example, and then we we'll go ahead. It is very. It is so simple that we miss it. When we open our eyes, the vision is activated, and what we see is only the differences, different colors, different forms, and immediate perception. As a result, we do not touch the vision itself. And if we go to the vision, what should happen? Then vision has no color, no form. So if we are living in the vision level, the differences may be appearing, but they will not influence us. But what happens? we are so much lost in the specifics that the common is mistaken common is forgotten red green yellow these are specific colors color by itself is not specific see and therefore whatever is perceived through the sense organs etc bhranti eva is illusion only aparaya iyam mahabhranti teshu satyatva nishchaya and worse than this illusion there is another delusion mahabhranti a terrible one that the illusion is accepted as real so if you simply see the illusion like we see in the mirror our face but we don't accept then we have entered the mirror then if the mirror is broken we are broken we don't accept we know it is just an appearance so apara iyam mahabhranti teshu abhrantatva nishaya yatha hi bad vidyanat purvam bhranti bhavet tata and the moment we come to discover that this is just an appearance not the real everything disappears सर्व जागृत विज्ञान अभ्रांति स्थित तथा रजत ज्ञान शुक्ति ज्ञान भ्रमात्मक 
So like when we are awake, then all the experiences of the dream are taken as illusion. Similarly, when the rope is seen, the snake is accepted as illusion. Or when the shell is recognized as a shell, the superimposed silver is accepted as illusion. Evam, in this way, Chidatma Vidyana Sarvam Jnanam Brahmatmakam Namho Nila Brahma Sarva Samano Bhasate Yatha. Chidatma Vidyana, when we are awakened to our essential conscious self, then Sarvam Jnanam Brahmatmakam. So this is the thumb rule we have to accept. Any experience gathered through the means of knowledge. What are the means of knowledge? One is the sense organs, second is the mind, third is the intellect, and fourth is the experiencer. If an experiencer is not born, knowledge doesn't take place. This is the mic stand and this is the uh, camera stand. Both of them are near each other. Do they know each other? So unless a knower is born, knowledge does not take place. So anything which is gathered through the sense organs, the mind, intellect and the experiencer is an illusion. So, evam chidatma vidyanam sarvam jnanam brahmatmakam. Then, jagato brahma eshasya sarvesham dosha hitutaha abhranti shuddha vidyanam yat chidatma tayasitam. Therefore, esha jagataha brahma evasya. Therefore, this waking world that we are going through is a solid example of illusion which we accept as real. So we are, before we go ahead, some basic we have to understand. There are two ways of explanation. One is that the world is an illusion. And the second is the world is nothing but Brahman. Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma. Everything is Brahman. And the world is illusion. Therefore, Brahman is illusion. <laughs> So what do we understand by this? Therefore, there is one topic in Vedanta Shastra, what is called as the Tatparja Nirne. When something is said, one statement is made, what for it is made? And when we don't understand that, we are mistaking everything. Therefore, Tatparja Nirne has to be drawn properly. So when these two things are said, the world is an illusion and the world is Brahman, what is the purpose of telling this? Now another very important principle. Effects are established only with reference to the cause and cause is established with reference to the effect. So if the Cause is established with reference to effect. Then effect is the cause of the cause. When we go to the doctor, we don't tell the doctor what is the disease unless you are Indian. <laughs> Indians go and tell the doctor, which infection ho gaya. Let him decide. And we don't stop there, being Indian. Then we advise him, ekad injection laga do. <laughs> so we go to the doctor and we tell the symptoms. These are the symptoms. Symptoms are effects. And from the symptoms, we reach the cause. So if we have to understand these two things, the world is an illusion and the world is Brahman. What does it mean? Let us see the effects of these two. When we see something as an illusion, what is the effect? Effects are two. Number one, we enjoy the illusions. 
when we see the rainbow is an illusion. Do we suffer? Re, 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 go out. No, we enjoy. Yesterday, when we were coming from Hobart, we suffered. Rainbow, instead of being in the sky, it was on the ground. I said, Gula Bolisko. How come it is on the ground? It should be on the ground. So, when we see the uh, uh, illusion, first of all, we don't suffer, we enjoy. And second important thing, we do not desire the illusions. We don't say, okay, let me take a piece of um, this thing, I'll give it to my wife. No. So, when the world is taken as an illusion, two things should happen. You don't suffer in this world, you enjoy. And the second thing is, you don't desire anything from this world. That is the effect. If this is not happening, we will come across who, who uh, what kind of people those are. And the second thing, when we take everything as Paramatma, which includes us also, Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma, then what will happen? The same thing. Like Eyes cannot see themselves. Exactly. We will never desire ourselves. And therefore, nobody desires the self. Because he is already a self. A simple example. Now this is my camera. So I won't desire my camera. It is already mine. So, when the world is recognized as I, there will be no desire. Now, put this thought together. So, whether you take this world as an illusion or you take this world as Paramatma, in both the things, you are free from desires. And that is what is called as realization. We talk about freedom, freedom. O Guru Maharaj, I am bound. Ko nama bandho katham esha agataha katham patishtha se katham vimoksha. Freedom is only from the desires. And we all have that experience in the deep sleep. We have no desires, therefore we are happy. When we are happy, we make noise and therefore we snore. And you can never be happy hurriedly. You cannot be. And therefore nobody is known hurriedly. Kar 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 kar. <laughs> Comfortably goes on. Now we are both happy. <laughs> therefore, the real spiritual practice is don't entertain too many burdens of desires in your life. Therefore, the more you become contemplative on this topic, then this becomes easier. Evam chidatma vidnana sarvam nyanam brahmatmakam nabho nila brahma sarva samano basate tada jagato brahma eshasyat sarvesham dosha hetu taha abhranti shuddha vidnanam yachidatpataya sidam. Therefore, jagataha brahma eshasyat sarvesham. For everybody, Dosha Hetuta, these are the shortcomings. Therefore, all the experience that we have is only an illusion of the real. You can look at this illusion from various standpoints. Illusions happen under n number of conditions. You cannot tell, yeah, I was coming in the evening, it was getting dark, but on this way I saw. Such lovely mirage waters, I tell you. Now, whom are you loving? Evening time, you can't see mirage waters. Therefore, uh, on this account, this whole waking experience is illusion. And abhranti shuddha vidnyanam. And what is the freedom from this delusion or illusion? Shuddha vidnyanam yachid atma tayasthitam. Come to recognize your conscious being. 
in simple words when knowing and being dissolves in one that is abidance in the truth where knowing and being are separate it is samsara this is a mic knowledge knowing but i am not the mic so this is not being the mic otherwise what a great fun it will be this is a donkey i am a donkey no therefore the real experience is only this abhranti shuddha vidyanam yachid atma daya sidam therefore our knowing and being are not two words may be two experience is one now it evam eva taya prishtam proktam yad anup uh, ukti sangatam sandeha matra santyaj rama proktam vidishchiro therefore he prashuram ji i clearly told you what is the meaning of this world as a illusion and you are the substratum properly with all logic i have told therefore give up all the illusions and delusions and be firmly established in this that you are the substratum of truth that is why in our scriptures avastha traya viveka discrimination on account of the three experiences waking dream and deep sleep is one of the most potent method of investigation कथम उक्ते कथम मुक्ति व्यवहृति ही पृष्टम पुरा तो यत्ते प्रवक्षा राम शुडु सम्यक समाहिता एन ए परशुराम यू हैड ऑल्सो आज मी वन क्वेश्चन डिड आय गुरु रिमेम्बर्स यू हैड आज मी दिस क्वेश्चन दैट कथम मुक्ते हे व्यवहृति ही व्हॉट आर द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ लिबरेशन somebody is liberated somebody is free how does he conduct himself in this world like when i know that this is a plastic flower before knowing i thought oh beautiful so nice and i touch it slowly and it is rubbish of god so in the same manner when a wise man is established in the knowledge will his life be so bore yaar sab illusion hi illusion hai how deep this question is when people don't understand this they become frustrated and frustration is also illusion so katham mukte hai vyavruti prushtam puratu yar tatte pravakshami i shall now tell you very clearly Shrunu Rama samyak samahita ha. Therefore, be attentive and listen carefully. Mukta hi dhyanu no loke hi uttama adhamma madhyama ha. Prarabdo panatai hi bhogai hi khidya mana kshane kshane. Sarupa dhyatu ye Rama te manda dhyani nasprata ye tu prarabdo sampraptan punjata apino viduhu. Madukshiva rasamiva madhyaste dhyani nasprata ha. ये तो प्रारब्ध कोटि राम परिरपि विचित्रित न स्वस्थ ते प्रवचनते नो द्विजति अंत्यापदाम गण ही न विस्मयती च आश्चर्य ही न ऋषति महासुख ही देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ लिबरेटेड पीपल दे आर ऑल मुक्ता ही ज्ञानी नो उत्तम मध्यम एंड अधम सो प्रारब्ध भोगई अपत अपत नहीं ही खिद्य माना क्षण क्षण दे नो एवरीथिंग दे कैन गिव लेक्चर्स लाइक आई एम गिविंग दे कैन गिव लेक्चर्स बट स्मॉल लिटिल थिंग्स हियर एंड देयर हैपेंस दे बिकम मिजरेबल सी आई हैव डन सो मच फॉर देम सो व्हाइल गिविंग द लेक्चर अहम ब्रह्मास्मी आफ्टर द लेक्चर अहम ब्रह्मोस्मी दे आर अधम ज्ञानी पांडित्य एरुडिशन स्कॉलरशिप सो प्रारब्ध उपरित ही भोग ही खिद्यमाना क्षण क्षण दे आर ऑलवेज एक्सपेक्टिंग आई वॉन्टेड टू डू दिस आई वॉन्टेड टू दैट बट सी पीपल आर नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग 
in Pune, there was a house and they, they have put a boat there. Those who are coming for collecting the contribution for Janmashtami, you have to chant 12th and 15th chapter of Gita. Then it will be given. <laughs> They read it He has the said, I will not give. <laughs> and the second person was superior. Then immediately after that, this Ganesh Puja comes. Another board. Chant uh, uh, Ganesh Atharva Shirsha. <laughs> 21 times you get it. <laughs> Intelligence. So, while giving the lecture, I am Brahmasmi. So, a little thing happens, we are frustrated. So, Swarupad Nyastu Te Rama Mandat Nyani Nahasmrata. So, as regard knowledge is concerned, they are okay, but experience is zero because they are still affected by the worldly thing. Mandat Nyani. They are very dull witted wise. Yetu prarad the sampraptan bunjan api no viduhu. Maduk shiva rasamio madhya se daninasrata. The second type of the mahatmas are normally which attracts majority of the people. And they are audhutas. Where they are sitting, cold or heat, what is they are eating, nothing bothers them. No experience disturbs them. See? Then, normally the people get very much attracted towards them. That Mahatma, see, he was just lying on the floor. He was so cold. But he was so comfortable. The reason is, they have detached themselves from the body to such an extent that none of the experiences of the body touch them. And who will appreciate this thing? We who are buried in the body identification. So when I experience that it is extremely cold, but that Mahatma in Badrinath, many years before we have seen one Mahatma. He was black, tall, only langoti, no clothes. And he will come to that uh, Alaknandaji. And enter the waters. They are so cold that if you put your hand, you don't know whether hand is there or gone. <laughs> so cold. So he will get into that river comfortably, like an elephant, and take two, three dips, come out, and walk away. Like the dogs you must have seen, when they come out of the water, they do like this. So the water goes away. So you will come out and slowly, like a gajagati, like an elephant walking magnanimously. Ha ah, ah, ha. Yeah. And people. Is the feeling cold? Great Mahatma. See, friends. By practice, anything can be achieved. The same Mahatmas. They are not condemning, we are learning. Please don't misunderstand. We have no business to evaluate somebody or condemn. We are here to learn. So such Mahatmas, when they are in the month of December in Haridwar Rishikesh, they require ice slabs to stay. They can't tolerate even uh, 10 degrees of uh, heat. So much Therefore, they are Maduk Shiva Rasimiva Madhyaste Dhanila Smrata. Now, Yetu Prarabdha Koti Nam Palirapai Palaihi Api Vishidritaihi Na Swastite Pravachanti Na Dvijati Anyapadam Ganahi Na Vismayati Na Ashcharyaihi Na Rishanti Mahasukaihi. But the third one, they are so common like any one of us. There is no speciality in them. Let any kind of miseries come and fall on them. They don't become miserable. 
let there be all comforts and joy they don't get hooked up in that comforts and joy and there is nothing surprising for them you know the highest surprise our body is holy how many holes are there and yet the air is not leaking out what more surprise you want Otherwise, simple tire, if a little hole comes, the <laughs> holy hole is pura. See, friends. Therefore, such master, na vishmayati na ashtare na rishati maha sukai. Bhagavad Gita, dukkeshu anadvignamanaha, sukeshu vigadas pruhaha, vita raga vaya krodaha, titadihi muni uchate. The reason is given here that. Antashanta Bahir Loka Samasti Dnanishu Uttamaha. They are the best among the Dnanis. They are Antashanta. Within themselves, they are absolutely at peace. And Bahihi and outside Loka Samasti, they are like any average person. Therefore, if you remember, many times we have made this point. Spiritual evolution is not becoming extraordinary. Drop all the extra, including fat. It should be clear in the expression. <laughs> Drop everything extra and be commoner than the commonest. See? If this you take as a spiritual practice, what will be the effect? What is extraordinary? Different colors are extraordinary. Red is not green, green is not yellow, yellow is not purple. Extra. Color is common. Taste. Sweet, sour. Taste by itself is common. Meaning, do not give ourselves any special choice. That is spiritual practice. How simple it is. But for a spiritual practice means making life more complicated. And then we get caught up in that. Therefore, Anta Shanta Bahir Loka Samasthe Dhyana Shuttamaha Evam Buddhi Vivedena Dhyana Paka Vivedataha And in this manner, with the understanding, the experience of the maturity of experience knowledge is possible. Prarabdha Sheva Shesha Mahatmya Dvaya Vivahara Vajitritaha Madhuttama Midavidam Tesham Vivahara Opis Mavet. And therefore, <coughs> according to the maturity of the knowledge, first knowledge is what? Knowing everything but complaining about the world because the world is taken as real. Then, second one is. They are so much lost in that they had, although living in this world, they don't belong to this world. The third type, the best one is, they are like any one of us and yet abiding in the truth. These are the three stages. It is by the third type, the Uttama Jnani, they are the one who give <coughs> the scriptures. Who give the knowledge? Like Bhagavan Shankaracharya has written so many things. Take many Mahatmas, Audhutas. Their approach of teaching is different. The Audhutas create situation and make you learn through the situation. The Acharyas, they are able to relate to us in our language, not in their language. And therefore, these are the three types. After this, the 18th chapter ends. Up to here, we had seen last time. Now, we enter the 19th chapter. Iti datta treya mukha shrutva bhargava nandanam bhuja papracha muktanam vivahara kramam kamal Bhagavan Bhuja Etan me Vistarena Nirupayam Yata Buddhi Vibhedena Jnana Paka Vajitrata Jnana Tvena 
विधम स्वात्म मात्र भानात्मक ननु उपदे उपेयंच तदेव सैत मोक्ष तत्प्रथात्मक तत्कथम बुद्धिभेदेन पाकभेद सामश्रय साधना अन्य भिद्यते अथवा तदीर पृष्ठपुनस्त दत्तात्रेयो महानिधि विस्तरेण तमे वार्थ प्रभुक्त मुक्चक्रमे ना इन दिस मैनर वेन परशुराम जी हेज हर्ड इति दत्तात्रेय मुखा श्रुवा भार्गवनंदन वेन परशुराम जी दस हर्ड दिस थिंग फ्रॉम द माउथ ऑफ भगवान दत्तात्रेय देन अगेन ही आस्क सम क्वेश्चन अबाउट हाउ दिस वाइज पीपल कंडक्ट डेम इन दिस वर्ल्ड मुक्ता व्यवहार क्रम अपृच्छ हाउ दिस वाइज पीपल कंडक्ट देम सेल्फ इन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड ही सेज फर्दर काइंडली टेल मी एक्सॉस्टिवली भगवान भूय एतन में विस्तरेण निरूपय नॉट विस्तरेण सोगे विस्तरेण निरूपय सो and also tell me that is the difference is because of their intellect or because of the maturity of their knowledge or is it because of the final avoidance in the nature of the self but it is the same for everyone then moksha is also same for everyone then why there there are so different from each other is it because um कथम बुद्धि भेदेन पाक भेद समाश्रय इफ द इंटेलेक्ट इज डिफरेंट हाउ कम द एक्सपीरियंस विल बी डिफरेंट साधना अभी विद्यंते वा न इति इरय इज इट द डिफरेंट देयर इज द डिफरेंट स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिसेस फॉर द नॉलेज इन दिस मैनर काइंडली टेल मी सो भगवान दत्तात्रेय टेल्स शृणु राम प्रवक्षामी रहस्यम हेतद उत्तमम साधनेन विभेदोस्ति ज्ञानम न चित्र साधनम first principle listen there are no different sadhanas for the knowledge see and jnanam na chitra sadhanam there are not many types of knowledge practices taratamya sadhana na phala prapta vividhata how much one is established in there taratamya is like good better best who is good person but you know the other one is the better but i am the best see so all of them are knowing but the intensity of their knowledge experience is different so taratamya sadhana nam phala prapta vividhita according to that their experiences and expressions are different purne tu sadhane dhyanam anayasena siddhati but when your knowledge is complete and perfect then you are not required to do anything this you should have told earlier <laughs> coming in the cold sitting over here and doing nothing see aap apurti taratamena tvaya sapekshanam bhavet वस्तुतः साधन किंचि ज्ञान उपयुज्य से ज्ञान क्वचिन्न साध्यम सिद्धवा स्वभावता सी देर फोर देर इज नो नीड ऑफ एनी स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस फॉर नोइंग द ट्रूथ इफ यू हैव टू सी युअर ओन विजन होम बिल यू गोन आफ्टरिस्ट if you have to come to your vision what you have to do you have to undo what is the area of undoing what you are seeing don't get influenced by that so seeing is happening but the impact of the seen is no more happening like the mirror the fire reflects in the mirror but the reflection of the fire does not burn the mirror so what sadhana the mirror has to do 
since long that fire is burning, I am reflecting, you know. I think sometime I am going to get burnt down. That thing. This awareness. You are not doing anything. See the world, nothing wrong. But when the world is unable to influence us, then Padma Patrami Vamasa Bhagavad Gita says, like the lotus leaf in the waters, born, sustained, and yet untouched by the water. In the same manner. We live very much in this world, but the world cannot influence us. Objects drop, come to the sense organs. Sense organs drop, come to the mind. Mind drop, come to the intellect. Intellect drop, come to the chetana, the life. Drop the chetana, the life, come to the infinite energy and merge that infinite energy in the total energy. So we are not doing and getting anything. Tyage neke amrutatva manasho. All what we have been holding on, holding on. Give up that hold. In Mahabharata story comes, there was a small birdie with some fish in or a piece of meat in her mouth, she was flying. And three, four huge birds were after that small bird. Now that small bird, he cannot do anything. It's a so strong bird. So try it a little bit. But then she realized that these big birds are not my enemies. They are coming to snatch away the meat from my mouth. So what she does? Tyage naike amrutatva manashu. The moment she gives up the hold on the meat piece, all the words go there. Three times. This has to click one day. We are always disturbed and miserable. Whenever we have given importance to anything or anybody in life. We, being Indians, give importance to both India and Pakistan. So when something good happens to India, <coughs> when something bad happens, you know, there also we are happy. What if it is the other way around? What if something happens to Cambodia? We don't even bother where it is. So we have to learn whatever, whatever we have given importance. That becomes real and from there the samsara begins. Therefore, taratamya, taratamya sadhanam prapti phala prapti viveta. Depending upon how mature we are in this knowledge, according to that, our experience is different. And punetu sadhane dhyanam, when one is fully established in this knowledge, then anayasena siddhati, there are no efforts. This is another important principle, friends. This comes from Patanjali Yoga Darshan. Prayatna Shaitilya Ananta Samapati Bhyam. This is the Sutra. Wherever there are efforts, we are away from the normal condition. Like those who are hard of hearing, that means they are not normal in their hearing ability. They have to put a lot of efforts. And as a result, they get tired. One person asked me this question, Swami, you don't quote my example in your lectures and don't make fun of me. I said, no, there's no need. You are self-sufficient. His question was, Swami, whenever I sit for lecture, I sleep. What is the reason? I said, you sleep, you should know. <laughs> How can I know? No, no, you know everything. 
అయితే ఓకే ఆర్ యువర్ ఐజ్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ సిక్స్ అబ్లిక్ సిక్స్ ఎస్ హియరింగ్ హియరింగ్ సమ్ టైమ్ ఐ ఫీల్ యు నో ఐఎమ్ నాట్ హియరింగ్ ప్రాపర్లీ అయితే దిస్ ఈజ్ ద రీజన్ వేన్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు పుట్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఎఫర్ట్స్ బికాస్ యూ ఆర్ హార్డ్ ఆఫ్ హియరింగ్ యు గెట్ టైర్డ్ and when you are absolutely normal you will not get tired for such people lecture becomes a disturbance band bhi nahi karte neend aa rahi hai the ka because they are able to hear so ananta samapatti is being infinite when you are abiding in the truth there are no efforts there after the life is lived through us without somebody being born friends these are all subjective uh, experiences analyzed and learned like our eyes see the blue color and the red color do the eyes become blue and red our ears listen the satsang as well as the car's voice noise are the ears disturbed or our mind attend is bad thought good thoughts mind is not disturbed similarly we both we understand also don't understand also and misunderstand also but we are the same the waking dream deep sleep samadhi come and go when waking and dream is experience nothing is added to us deep sleep and samadhi nothing is lost so tell me what sadhana are we going to do the real process is undoing of all what we have been doing and the real process is unbecoming of all what we have become there was one tabla teacher and outside his house or room there was a board those who know something 100 rupees per hour those who know nothing 10 rupees per month so i said uh, sir is something mistake done by the artist no 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 it is okay you know it can be okay he said those who know something to undo that it takes my life <laughs> and those who are absolutely blank they do exactly what i tell this is the problem of those who are in yoga who are in karma who are in upasana it is very difficult to undo all that <coughs> after listening all these thoughts again but swami ji uh, is it necessary to get up early in the morning it is not necessary to get up at all <laughs> so all what you have learned is evaporated that is one of the reason i don't entertain questions the questions are only this so i mean suppose i am doing rama japa but in my house after marriage there are all the devotees of krishna so i am sitting before krishna and doing the japa sri ram jay ram jay jay ram what will happen i said nothing will happen to you and bhagwan krishna will get confused mujhe bula raha hai usko bula don't get no question can come to your mind if you are abiding in the truth therefore don't get lost into this why 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 because sky is strong so simplest way 
that about which you have no question. That is the truth. And we have no question about our being. Now you see, you are not struggling to stop thinking. Then slowly, by God's grace, one day it clicks. Questions always happen to somebody and questions are always about something other than yourself. If there is nobody, no question. Nobody can help us. We have to work ourselves. So, apurti taratam yanatvaya sapayakshena bhavet vastu taha sadhanam kinchi jnani na upayujyate jnanam kvachin na eva sadhyam siddhatvatu sabhavataha. Therefore, this knowledge can never be gained as a result of any activity or anything. He simply says, na karmana na prajaya dhane na tyage na eke amritatva manasho. What is the meaning? This is the meaning. Getting so lost in doing this and doing that. Therefore, jnanam kinch kvachin neva sadhyam siddhyat vatu sahavata chaitanya meva vidyanam tat tadasu prakashakam. And this pure conscious existence itself is called as knowledge, is called as realization, and so prakashakam. We know everything in this world through the means of knowledge. Objective world is known through the five sense organs. Joy and sorrows are known through the mind. Concepts are understood through the intellect. But our own being does not involve any means of knowledge. Do you know yourself? Yes. How? By nose? Yeah, I think I'm there. Or by feeling? Ah, ah, realization hold. Or is it a concept? Many of us get lost in concept. In one university in the US, after my talk, the professor said, Mr. Swami, you have presented the concepts very well. I said, I disagree with you. I did not talk concepts. You are a professor is a concept. You are successful is a concept. You are American is a concept, subject to change. You are is not a concept. Because what is the locus of the concept? Intellect. Earlier, Einstein's law of relativity was the best one. Now that change. Therefore, Tatra ka sadhana apeksha nitya bhana sarupake. Chaitanyam nihitam chitta karande atisu nirvale. Therefore, tatraka sadhana apeksha. So what is the expected sadhana, sadhana, sadhana to know the truth? Because nitya abhana sarupake, it is in the light of this alone, everything is known. How can that be known by any other means of knowledge? So what is the first spiritual practice? Give up all spiritual practice. Thank God. What is the meaning of giving a spiritual practice? Meaning, the sense of doership must be given. Then, nityam chaitanyam nihitam chitta karandake ati isu nirmale ananta vasana panka magnam naivo palakshate. Nirodha salilaihi samyak vasana panka marjane. See, then this conscious reality is kept very secured in a karanda, in like you know a diamond. The diamond is kept 
very carefully in a beautiful container. And that container is covering the diamond in the same manner. In the container of the chitta, I am using the word chitta, not mind. Chittam chitcha vijaniya takara rahitam yada takaro vishaya dhyasa japa rago yasamano. Chitta is essentially chit. If takara, the objectivity is removed. That knowledge, that experience where objectivity is not prominent, that knowledge is called as consciousness. Everything that we know is known objectively. So in the uh, small container of the chitta is the diamond of Chaitanya kept over there. And what is happening? Ananta Vasana Panka Magnam. But this diamond of the divinity is covered by the mud of many, many Vasanas, impressions which are gathered over lives together and therefore no eva upalakshate. And therefore, although it is present, it is not experienced. Then, Nirodha Salilaihi Samyak Vasana Panka Marjane Vichara Shita Yantrena Yatna Chitta Karandake Chira Sangatite Rama Suyuktya Udgatitam Tata. Then, by the waters of Nirodha Salilaihi Samyak, by the waters of suspension of the process of thinking. Then what will happen? All the mud of the various impressions has to be washed. So, vichara shita yantrena. And what is the instrument we have to take? Vichara shita yantrena. Proper discriminative inquiry. By that process, yatna chitta karandake chirat sangatite rama. By this proper inquiry, open the container wherein the diamond of the divinity is hidden. And suyuktya udgatite tadaha. And by proper logic, proper understanding, open that small karandaka, small pot where the divine is hiding. Then, bhasamanam tu manivat chaitanyam upalabhyate. The moment you remove this container covering immediately, Bhasamanam to Manivat, like a diamond, that consciousness will be revealed. And Ramatasman Vasananam Nirase Sadhanam Smrutam. Now be very attentive. Therefore, all the spiritual practice is not for knowing the truth. All the spiritual practice is for cleaning the mind. This is one very, very subtle point which we are unable to catch it. See, now this example is given here. In a part of Chitta, the diamond of divinity is hidden. Now with this gross understanding, what we will be doing? That's it. This is the pot. I am. I just. I came from potty. So I must be pot. <laughs> now in that pot, inside there is Chaitanya. We go into me. And we have studied Chaitanya Upanishad. Annamaya Koshat, Antaratma, Pranamaya, Antaratma, Manomaya, Antaratma, Vidyanamaya, Antaratma, Rāyanandamaya. Come get no distance. This language is important to indicate and yet we have to use the language. So, to understand this, I will give some other examples. What is meant? Two, three examples. First, gross example, then subtle examples. Gross example. The... uh, 
cloth is covered by the shawl. Cloth is separate, shawl is separate. When the shawl is removed, cloth is seen. Very simple. The second thing. The ocean is covered by the waves. Second example. <coughs> the third example. The vision is covered by the objects. Now, how to understand this? When uh, we are reading, we are focusing attention on the words. But sometime after 40 or so, then the mother is taking the book in her hand and trying to read the existing. The children start asking her, Mommy, you are becoming very stylish these days. No, beta, it's not stylish. I can't see properly. So, where is her attention? Away from the object, it has come to the vision. So, we go to the then eye doctor. And doctor says, okay, read the first line. Can you read? No. Okay, make it clear. Can you read? No. Maximum, six feet tall. Can you read? No. How come? I don't know English. <laughs> Doctor will commit suicide. <laughs> so the question was not about the language. So when we are so much preoccupied with the objects of the world, our sense organs are covered. When we are preoccupied with our sense organs, our mind is covered. When we are too much preoccupied with the mind, the intellect, the seat of discrimination is covered. I will do what I like, not what is right. Right and wrong is in intellect. Like and dislike is in the mind. So tell me what sadhana will you do? Our whole life is lived only at the periphery of our personality. Bhagavan Krishna said same thing. Kama esha krodha esha rajoguna samud bhavaha maha ashanaha maha papma vidhena miha vairinam And where this desire is located Indriyani mano buddhi asya dhishthana muchate so, our whole life is guided by the desires and desires are only in the form of like and dislike. So, where from the like and dislike begins? From the sense organs. After the sense organs are conquered, then the desire or likes and dislikes enter the mind and we become emotional. And after that, it enters the intellect. We become convinced. Nobody loves me, I am sure, you know. They are all waiting for me to die. But Bhagwan also doesn't want me. Everybody is getting bored of me. <laughs> See? Friends, this covering, the diamond is hidden in the small container, should be understood in this way. Now, Coming to your life. The man is covered by the sun. The same man is covered by the husband. The same man is covered by the father. I, the man, is son with reference to the father. I, the man, is husband with reference to wife. I, the man, is father with reference to son. Now, so who is living life? Man is not living. See, friends. 
oh that boy was so horrible he was taken away by police these people are really these days too bad no i am talking about your son oh. <laughs> immediately everything changes is it not this is the meaning of the covering i mean this is not understood we are told when is it for meditation the light of divinity experience means light come us din aaya tha light means what what we understand is only this light this tube light this is not light light means the one which illuminates so in the dark room candle light is very bright the same candle light is null and void when kept in the bright sun day time so the sunlight is overpowering that candle light because sunlight is more powerful than a candle light now who illuminates the sun the eyes so the light of the eyes is more powerful than the sun and who illuminates the light of the eyes the mind so the light of the mind is more powerful than the eyes see friends that doesn't mean when the mahatma is sitting light is coming out <laughs> if we understand the import correctly all the stupid things will disappear and then we will come to a final conclusion all happening stops and only being remains but the questions are swami ji uh, what happens after this so what reply can be given when you are alive nothing has happened <laughs> so death you look within we are all alive what has happened we when, when we are not here nothing was lacking when we will go away nothing will lack if you don't believe go and see <laughs> hey friends but konyo si sadrusho maya who is like me i had done this i had done that i will do oh, oh. he hey friends and therefore this wisdom is so wonderful then what is the spiritual practice tasmat ram vasana nam nirase sadhanam srutam so all the spiritual practice is only for removing the vasana so again this vasana word should be properly understood or you will get lost in that word one boy in bombay from mulund he asked me one day swami ji how to get uh, how to purgate the vasana from the system ऐसे टेक जमाल गोटा यूर इंटेस्टेंस विल ऑल्सो कम वासना मीन्स रॉन्ग नोशंस वी आर ऑल कैरिंग द बर्डन ऑफ रॉन्ग नोशंस एंड नोशंस आर नॉट रियल like the notion i am very beautiful every stupid girl thinks like that notion <laughs> and when somebody tells you know oh, but she is more beautiful than you immediately i did this experiment somewhere i was a little lazy to go down and say i said hey it's okay you go and see no sir it looks so beautiful please come i said look here anything which looks beautiful is not beautiful what do you mean i said for example you look beautiful <laughs> next 3 days no talking <laughs> you friends vasana is notion one notion about ourselves other notion about the world the third notion about god fourth notion about spiritual practice fifth notion is about god realization 
we are all leading a notional life. And according to your notion, your life is lived. If you take this world as real, then you will struggle in this world. But if you take this world as illusion, you will live the same world. But now you will enjoy. See? I will tell you my personal experience about this. Earlier I was feeling great about myself that I am bluffing in my satsang. One day it clicked. God gave me the click. This happened in Mumbai. I said from today onwards I am not going to say that I am bluffing. So, but why you always said you are his bluff session, bluff session? I said no, you are all my gurus. You have taught me this. What did we teach you Swamiji? You have taught me. You think you are bluffing only. So who tells you that we are listening? <laughs> <laughs> that day I realized. <laughs> And when I realize this, nobody is listening to me. Why should I get frustrated? See, why there is only less number of people? Why not 10,000 people? See, why only this place? Why not that place? As if this place people were going to listen and that place they will not listen. Nobody listens anywhere. <laughs> Live with this wisdom, my friends. You can never be miserable. And this can happen only if you are committed to learn from every experience of your life. My first experience in conducting the Yajna was this. From Allahabad, I was sent to Gurgaon. And my friend told, Swamiji, my um, uh, relation, they have made all arrangements, you go and they will do a lecture arrangement for you. I reached there. In a bus, park outside, about a dozen of them, they were already in the bus. And one person came to pick me up from the railway station. Swamiji, you have come very good. Now we are relaxed. So what happened? Now we can go to Haridwar for our yatra. You can stay over here. And our grandfather is there. You can talk to him, whatever you like. And our servant is there. He will prepare food for you. Everything is done. Okay? And they went. <laughs> <laughs> so, after I got myself ready and all that, I was so frustrated. <laughs> so, I asked the servant, is there any temple? Or, yeah, Maharaj, you temple. So, I went there. And I was very frustrated already. And the Pandit Ji was really a great one. He immediately understood. Baba Ji, everything is okay. And I wanted to vomit out. <laughs> So I started telling. These people did like this. Now the old man, what will I talk to him and all that? So he said, look here. You have heard, read everything. Parikshit ji was the only audience to whom these Shukacharya gave the whole Bhagavad Mahapura for seven days. So understand, he is Parikshit and you are Shukacharya. Seven days. <laughs> I said, yes, you are right. I went and did it seven days. And on the seventh day, I came to know from the servant. Swamiji, Mawaji ko sunne kuniya. He can't hear anything. And you will see, there are two types of laughters. Those people who hear, understand and laugh is different. Those who can't hear, they also laugh <laughs> for no reason. Just to pretend that they are able to hear. See? Therefore, <clears throat> it is so simple. Nothing in this world should disturb us if we are not covered by the wrong notions. Our notion is, I am body. Then our notion is, I am mother, father, brother, sister, husband, wife. Then my notion is, because of me, the world is moving. All the parents have got this stupid understanding that they are doing something great for their children. What do you do for the children? 
children are born through us. They are not born to us. The same parents, one child is studious, contemplative, quiet, simple. <coughs> Other is a leader type, politician type. The third one is a trader. If I do this thing, mommy, what will you give me? And the fourth one is lazy. So the first one is Brahmana, second is Kshatriya, third is Vaishya, fourth is Government Servant. Government Servant is Shudra. <laughs> Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra. Out of the same parents, can you imagine to a mango tree, there are different types of fruits. Apple, pineapple, mango. No. Three friends. Children are born through us. Don't get too much carried away by that. And when this doesn't happen, both ways we suffer. If they are good and taking care of us, we get too much attached to them. If they don't care for us, we become too disgusted because of them. The net result is our self is covered by the wrong notion. When you get according to the Dharma Shastra, if you get too much attached to the people you are living with, your relation, after death you are born again in the same family. One child was born and asked immediately after birth, what is there for breakfast? And uh, the nurse said, Bakarwadi. <laughs> Again came back to Pune. <laughs> Don't get too much attached. Because of that, your self is covered. <laughs> All wrong notions. Give it up. Therefore, tasmad rama vasana nam nirase sadaram smritam vasana alpa adikya bhavad buddhistu vividha bhavet. And depending upon how much is the impact of those wrong notions on you, according to that, buddhistu vividha bhavet, our buddhi, our understanding by which we conduct our life, that also start differing. Therefore, you see some uh, people, right from childhood, they are interested in meditation. Some people are interested in doing some seva. Some people are interested in going, moving around, total dispassion. Where from that comes? The depending upon the vasana alpha adhika. Less and more, buddhis vidha bhavet, yasya yavad vasana ugho, buddhis achadya samsitaham, sadhana pekshanam tasya tavadeva bhrugdva. So as long as the intellect or the understanding is covered by a wrong notion, till then our life will be conducted in that way. And these vasanas are vasana vividha prapta tatra mukhya vadamite. And there are different types of vasanas. I shall tell you. In short, which are the prominent one which we have to take care. What is that? We'll see it in tomorrow. You have to go for work. Why do you remind us? <laughs> Om Purna Madaha Purna Midam Purna Har Purna Mudachate Purnasya Purna Madaya Purna Meva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om